you may think this video is a bit late and it kind of is because I bet loads of you set resolutions and I bet loads of you broke resolutions as well. So like I said yesterday, I'm not setting resolutions for 2018, I'm setting goals for 2018. And I explained yesterday the best way to keep goals is to share goals. So these are my goals for 2018. Number one, by February half term, I am going to have all of the whole topic videos, the quick fire question videos, the um, playlist, the revision guide, the web pages finished for your GCSE science. So I'll definitely have done AQA and Edexcel by then and once I've done these two I'm going to start pretty quickly within the next week and the next two weeks working on the Welsh exam board and OCR as well. So hopefully by half term I'll have done all of those and then you can like go and get the revision guide from Amazon or you can print it off for free from my website and there'll be loads and loads of stuff in there for you. Number two, I am going to try and start networking with more YouTubers. I'm going to spend more time at YouTube space. Um, I'm going to VidCon this year which is really really exciting. Um, Partly because I get to go and stay in a hotel room all by myself, which is going to be amazing. Um, but it would be really, really cool to go and talk to loads of other YouTubers. Number three, I am going to try and get all of the required practicals done for you. Um, I'm really, really quickly working my way through all of these. Um, but some of them involve like, quite long time lapses as well, so I'm setting all of those up. Everything is really, really busy here. Um, but I'm working as quickly as I can. Number four, um, I am gonna look after myself a bit more. Um, so I'm constantly telling you to do this, but I'm gonna start mindfulness and start meditating. I say start because I've got the program, I've got the app, and I think I've done it like twice. It's not great, but that's okay. It's an okay start. Um, and it's okay to start something, not be great at it, forget it for a couple of days and then try again you can just pick it up later so I'm really really gonna try and do this um because it's good for you it'll be good for me five are we at five I think it's five now I should have written these down five I am researching talking to loads of people doing a whole series on how to apply to university so loads of loads of UCAS things so like liberal arts degrees natural science degrees admissions um, going to conservatoire, the Erasmus scheme, loads and loads of stuff that you might not have heard of but is really really cool, really really useful. Um, I'm about halfway through this and hopefully I should have that done in the summer. So you can send yourself a day looking through it, looking at all the advice, how to write personal statements, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Because even if you're like in year 10, year 11, you're not ready to start actually applying yet, it's always good to know what you're aiming for. And then lastly, I'm going to make loads more videos for you on how to revise. Um, I was trying to making a playlist of them yesterday and I realised I've got about 40 or 50 so far, but they're all a bit messy, so we need organising. So I'm going to organise and sort them, I'm going to kind of like relaunch launch it, make a few more videos and put those in there. And then the last thing I'm going to try and do this year is fit back into my pre-pregnancy genes. Fingers crossed, that's not the most achievable one, but we'll see. If there's any videos you want, like with the UK series, with the revision, um, if there's any extra stuff you want in the revision guide, just let me know down below and I'll do my best to help you out.